everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this fun boho spinner ornament, which you can see here in front of you. This uh, Christmas ornament or ornament would make a great gift for a friend or family member uh, and it will look gorgeous hanging on your Christmas tree. I have a couple of my samples here. These are very easy to work. Uh, I have added a tassel and a couple beads to the bottom of mine, which I'll show you how to do in this video. Uh, but this is them here. They measure approximately uh, four inches long, excluding the tassel, and they're about two inches wide at the widest point. If you head on over to my blog, you can find many photos of these boho spinner ornaments uh, there on my blog. Also on the blog, you'll find the free written pattern uh, on richtexturescrochet.com and the link to that is in the description of this video. Uh, also in the description of the video, you'll find some information about the supplies that you're going to need today. We're going to be needing a four millimeter crochet hook as well as a little bit about 50 yards in total of uh, a lightweight yarn. Today I'm going to be using the Trubu yarn by Lion Brand Yarns. It's a lightweight 100% rayon. I just liked how sparkly and shiny it was as well as the colors that are available. So for my color A today I'm going to be using this white in the photo and in my sample there you saw, let me see here, the khaki color. Uh, but I think I'm actually going to use this sand color, which is almost like a rose gold today in the video tutorial. Also, if you choose to add some beads to your spinner ornament, you're going to need some beads. You will need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors as well. So thank you so much for joining me. And um, I should clarify for your colors, for your color B, you're only going to need about uh, 10 yards or so. For the color A, 30 to 40 yards will cover it for you for uh, your spinner. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Take a look around and uh, I invite you to subscribe. If you happen to make one of these ornaments, I invite you to share pictures with me on social media. I love to see all of your finished products. And uh, if you give one as a gift, let me know who you gave it to. And uh, I'm sure that they will absolutely love it. So thank you so much again for joining me. Let's grab our hooks and yarn and we'll get started. To begin our ornament today, it is worked in rows. So begin by making a slip knot. And we're going to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to have a total of 40 chains. So go ahead and chain 40 chains. You can adjust the length of your spinner uh, and uh, there's uh, no particular stitch count. So you can really have any stitch count that you would like. Uh, just today I'm going to start with 40. There's 20. And 40. Once you have your 40 chains, you're going to begin row one by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook. So count in, you're just going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook into that second stitch from your hook, as well as the next one. Slip stitch into that next stitch. You're then going to work a single crochet stitch in each of the next 35 chain stitches. So a single crochet, you're going to work them all the way across to your final two stitches. And then meet me back here. Once you've single crocheted all the way across to your final two stitches, 
into your final two stitches you're going to work one slip stitch each and you can keep them fairly loose because you are going to work in them after at the end of row one chain one and turn your work for row two you're going to slip stitch in each of the first two stitches now into the next four single crochet stitches you're going to work two single crochet so two single crochet in each of the next four stitches you'll have eight all together next work two half double crochet stitches into each of the next four stitches you will have eight half double crochet stitches in total Next, you're going to work two double crochet stitches in each of the next 19 stitches. So work two double crochets in each of the next 19 stitches. You'll have a total of 38 double crochet stitches. I'm just going to speed ahead here and then meet you uh, once you've worked all your double crochet stitches. Once you've worked your 38 double crochet stitches, so two double crochets in each of the next 19, you're going to work two half double crochets in each of the next four stitches. So eight all together. You're then going to work two single crochets in each of the next four stitches. And then finish off this row two with a slip stitch into each of the final two stitches. My yarn split, so I'm just going to go back here and keep those slip stitches loose to make it easy. Mine got a little bit tight here toward the end. There we go chain one and turn your work now for your row three you're going to slip stitch in each of the first two stitches and then work three single crochet into each of the next eight stitches so work three single crochet stitches all into the next stitch do that eight times so three single crochets in each of the next eight once you've worked three single crochets in each of the next eight stitches you're going to work three half double crochet stitches in each of the next eight stitches once you've worked three half double crochets in each of the next eight stitches you're going to see it's really starting to curl you're then going to work three double crochet stitches into each of the next 38 stitches so work three double crochet stitches in each of the next 38 stitches and then you can meet me back here
Once you've worked three double crochets in each of the next 38 stitches, as I have done here, you're going to work three half double crochets in each of the next eight stitches. So you'll have a total of 24. Once you've worked three half double crochets in each of the next eight stitches, you will work three single crochet stitches in each of the next eight stitches. Finally, at the end of your 24 single crochets there, your three in each of the next eight, you're going to come to your final two stitches which are slip stitches and you can slip stitch in each of those so slip stitch in each of the final two stitches at this time you can fasten off your color a we're now going to finish one final row of, uh, of stitches here on our ornament. So join your yarn with a slip stitch uh, into that first slip stitch. I'm just going to make my slip knot here and then join, find my end right here into that slip stitch. and then slip stitch into the next stitch. You're then going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So for this final round, you're working one final single crochet stitch into each stitch all the way around uh, to your final two stitches. Then you'll slip stitch in those final two stitches and fasten off. Once you have single crocheted all the way to your final two stitches, you can go ahead and slip stitch just as you did before into those final two stitches. And you can go then go ahead Fasten off your color B and then weave in any ends that you may have. So I'm just going to go ahead, I wove in the other ones earlier. So I'm just going to go ahead and weave in this final tail. And trim it off. We're now going to do some final shaping for our spinner. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of just twirl it around like so and just shape it, flatten it out, make sure all the little ruffles are going in the proper direction and go all the way around like so. You should see that it's kind of more narrow at the bottom and at the top than it is in those middle rounds. Once you have worked it like this and kind of flattened it all out, we're going to now run a length of yarn to kind of keep it together. Otherwise it would stretch out like this but I wanted uh, my ornament to be fairly close together when you hang it up. So we're going to run a piece of yarn down from the top through the bottom and back up again to keep it together and in place. So I've already cut a piece of yarn 
uh, from my color A. It's about 20 inches long. And then you're going to thread it on your yarn needle like so. And then starting from the top of your ornament, simply weave the yarn down through the end and then down through the center of your ornament just like so and out through the bottom again weaving in through that end. You're going to pull it through a little bit. You want to leave some hanging out the top because we're going to use that for our hanger. Once you've pulled it through enough you're going to thread it back through almost exactly the same way that you came down just like so right through the center up through the top again and out the other side pull it through this time though you want to leave a little bit of a loop down at the bottom so i'm going to leave about that much just down at the bottom of my spinner and that we're going to use to attach the beads and as well the tassel. So once you've done that, you have your two odd ends up here. You have your loop down here. To put my beads on, I simply thread it through the loop through my needle. Then using whatever beads you desire, I have some silver ones here going to thread them through like so and push them down to the end. You're then going to have a little bit of a loop still left. No worries. We're now going to take more of our color A yarn and we're going to cut lengths of yarn and I've already done it in advance and cut it about 10 inches or longer or shorter depending on the length of the tassel that you would like. So I cut 10 pieces of thread. If you wanted to make your tassel thicker, you can cut uh, more or thinner, you can cut less. But I cut 10 and they're about 10 inches long. You're then going to feed them through the loop just below your beads. Fold it over in half, like so. Then up at the top, of your spinner, pull those two ends tight. So it's going to pull the yarn through your spinner and it's gonna catch the, uh, the yarn there that you have for your tassel. So you wanna pull it through, you want it to be fairly tight so the beads come right up to it. Now there are many other ways to make a tassel. If you have another favorite way, you can. So once you have the beads down touching and you've pulled up at the top, it's nice and tight. You can then finish off your tassel by taking another piece of yarn and then by wrapping it around the head of the tassel. So just up by your beads, I start by tying a knot. like so and then just wrap the thread around as many times as you would like to kind of make it look nice there and once you've wrapped it around enough tie another knot Make sure it's nice and tight because you don't want any of your strands from the tassel coming loose. And then to make it look a little bit neater, I take each of the ends of the yarn that I used to tie my tassel closed and I just tuck them down in through the center of my tassel. So there's one.
and then two. Once you're done, you can trim your tassel ends so that they are all the same length. And then if you wanted to, it feathers quite nicely. So I took a fine tooth comb. Uh, this is the True Boo, Boo yarn. I took a feather tooth comb or a fine tooth comb and I just kind of ran it through and it spreads these uh, strands apart quite nicely or you can leave it gathered like this. So once you have your tassel on down at the bottom, you're going to want to just slightly spread out the uh, waves of your spinner. I stretched mine out to about three inches so it's about four in, uh, or I guess four inches. Depends on how long and how spaced out you would like the ends. So about like that. Then up at the top tie a knot right at the base uh, or at the top of your spinner. And then you're going to tie another knot just a little bit further up, which is going to form the hanger that you will use to hang this ornament wherever you would like, in a window or on a Christmas tree. And that's all there is to making your boho uh, spin spinner ornament. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial and uh, again I love to see your finished products. Feel free to tag me on social media and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting! Bye! <music>